I'm so tired. Welcome everybody to a brand new video. No, the intro was not an exaggeration. I am very fucking tired because I had a nine hour work shift today and just, oh God, I can't wait until I finish this video and I can just relax. But anyway, I'll relax later. For now, I'm going to focus on uploading this video for you guys. And I meant to upload it yesterday on January 1st because it was new year, but, uh, I got kind of lazy. Basically what happened is the night before I got very high and I ate a shit ton of Chinese and then the next day I felt gross. But now I feel fine, I just feel exhausted, I don't feel like sluggish and tired and all that stuff, I just feel exhausted from work. But I meant to upload this video yesterday, however that just didn't end up happening because you know, pothead over here. And I'm making this video today to wish you guys a happy New Year's. I know I'm a day late, I've already mentioned that. Please don't yell at me. But anyway, what I want to do in today's video is just kind of look back on 2018, you know, sit down and talk to you guys because I wanted to talk about a few things that happened in 2018 in my Christmas video. However, I decided to leave it to this video, the New Year's video. I figured talking about the year in this video would make a lot more sense because it is New Year's. So without further ado, that's what I'm going to do right now. Oh, by by the way, I got a new hoodie. Do you guys like it? No? Well, I don't care. I like it. 2018 was an interesting year for me. It started off quite bad where I was still in that sort of pit of sadness where I just couldn't let the past go and stuff like that. And for some reason, I just kept beating myself up in my head every single day. But it actually changed a few months in when I made the decision to move past a lot of those things, leave the past where it was because I couldn't change anything and actually move towards bettering my life and making the decision that I'm not going to let the past haunt me anymore. And that is probably the best decision I've ever made in my life because it turns out that 2018 was the best year of my entire life. Even though it started off pretty bad, so many positive things have happened in 2018 for me. And I'm actually so happy that I can talk about those things. So while 2018 started off pretty bad, few months in, I decided to make the decision to just forget about everything that was making me sad and move on with my life. You know, take the steps that I need to just improve my life rather than focusing on the things that I can't change. Rather than trying to change the past, which is impossible, I can at least change the future for myself, which is very possible. And so as a result, because I got better and because I moved towards bettering my life, a lot of great things have happened. And I'm just gonna name a few off the top of my head. Probably the first and best thing to happen to me this year, and I don't wanna sound cheesy or corny, but it's meeting my girlfriend. I managed to meet this amazing person who supports me every single day. I support her every Every single day she's there for me when I'm at my low points and I'm there for her when she's at hers and honestly I'm gonna keep this quite brief because you know I don't want to go into too much detail about our relationship and stuff like that you know as public as I am with my life on this channel I you know I'm not gonna talk about private stuff and shit like that however that is definitely uh, most likely the best thing that's happened to me this year just being able to meet that amazing person and uh, I hope that it lasts, you know, I really fucking do because what I have right now, what we have in this relationship is absolutely incredible and it is the healthiest relationship I have ever been in in my life and so I hope it lasts, you know, I can't predict the future, I don't know what's gonna happen, I don't know if uh, it will last, but I sure as hell want it to. So definitely for sure that is probably the best thing that's happened to me this year. But anyway, I want to keep that one quite brief because it's just so cheesy to talk about in the video. But the second thing that has happened to me this year and which has allowed me to better myself as a person and work towards the things that I really, really enjoy in my life is get a job. When I got a job, it opened up so many doors for me because now I had my own source of income. Even if I do spend time at a place that I don't necessarily enjoy, I realized that that's probably a temporary thing. I just have to push it through for now and eventually given enough time and enough funding towards the things that I love, I can make a living out of something that I really enjoy. So getting a job was definitely the determining factor because it was getting really difficult. I don't want to get into too much detail, but it was getting to the point where it was actually becoming a struggle to live. Putting food on the table was really difficult. And so when I got a job, it just completely eliminated a lot of the basic necessities that I just didn't have. Like it was difficult to put food on the table and stuff like that. And so as I said, when I got a job, it just completely eliminated that. And now I could take care of myself. 
I could fund whatever I wanted to do. As I've mentioned in previous videos, my setup used to be completely different. Like, completely different. Go back and watch my setup video from, like, I don't know, a year ago or something like that. It doesn't look anything like it does now, which probably suggests that I should make an updated setup video. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? I mean... I'm probably gonna make it anyway. Having a job also gave me a sense of responsibility and a very small sense of purpose as well. I'm going to this job every single day thinking to myself, how can I do better than my last day? I'm always improving at my job and I'm always moving forward in trying to have more responsibilities and stuff like that. You know, I would really love one day to, you know, get a promotion, you know, make more money and stuff like that. Obviously, I only started about half a year ago. However, it's looking really good. I'm doing quite well at that job and I am in the most financially stable point in my entire life. Most of the things that I have around me right now are funded by me and I'm not going into like debt or anything trying to get these things. I am just paying for them whenever I have the money. I tend to think of myself as pretty smart with my money. Now, of course, there are things I spend my money on that, you know, I don't need to spend money on. I'm not perfect. I'm not going to say that every single penny I spend is an investment. That's not what I'm trying to get at. I have my own personal expenses like video games. You could argue that I don't need video games and all that stuff. However, you know, I like to spend money here and there on a few things that entertain me. And technically, video games aren't a complete waste because a lot of the times I make videos on those games so you know it is kind of important to my YouTube channel. Another thing that happened this year and I mentioned it already is just being able to move on in my life being able to make the decision to just better my life and stop focusing on the past. That mindset in it of itself has pushed me farther than anything that has happened this year. That is definitely one of the highlights of this year. Another great thing that has happened this year is I got my first ever pet. I'm sure you guys know who it is. It's my little kitten called Cupcake and I know I updated you guys on my last video on how she's doing and all but just a small little update again. She's doing great. Nothing really has changed. She's just eating food playing with her toys and that's really it. And finally, another great thing that has happened for me this year is I have been the most consistent with YouTube throughout my entire channel's history. I have uploaded either daily or semi-daily. I did have a few breaks in between, but I felt like those were necessary for me to just, you know, remain happy and not feel like I'm forcing myself to do this. However, besides all that, this is the most active I have ever been on my channel since the very beginning of my channel. When I first started my channel, I was quite active. However, over time, I started to be a lot more inactive. I didn't necessarily upload videos very often. In fact, I would probably upload a video like every single month, once a month, which is just crazy for me to think of right now. And those videos were trash as well. It wasn't like they were quality over quantity or anything like that. I remember the first day that Call of Duty World War 2 came out, which I know wasn't in 2018. It was towards the end of 2017. I remember when that game first came out, I told myself, I'm going to start uploading daily. And I did that for quite a long time. I was daily uploading for a very long time. However, now that I have a job and I have my own responsibilities in my life, I had to move that to every single two days uploading. However, I will definitely try and get back on a daily upload schedule at some point in the future. However, I don't want to promise it right now or in the near future because I don't necessarily know how that's going to go. I forgot one more thing that happened this year, which is just fucking incredible I got to meet with Lowry face to face and talk to him that was pretty fucking awesome and I'm going to his show this year as well my girlfriend for Christmas got me two tickets one for her and one for me and we're gonna be going to see with Lowry together this year which I'm just so fucking happy about I'm hoping that I get to talk to him in person again I don't really know if I'm gonna vlog it this time just because you know I already did it once I don't really see the point in doing it again plus I just really don't want to shove a camera in the guy's face I know I didn't do that last year however I don't want to get any sort of temptation to do it this year because you know I just want to respect the guy maybe a photo but that's pretty much it I will definitely update my photo from last year in case you guys were following me on any of my social media I used to have a photo of me and Whit Larry together where I had like 
absolutely horrible hair. So I'm hoping maybe I can update that photo and have decent hair in it. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that has happened to me in 2018 that has been really significant and has impacted my life for the better. I overall think that 2018 was the best year of my life. I'm so happy with the way it went. And I know for a fact that 2019 is going to be even better because one, we're not starting it off with a bad few months. And two, because now I have everything at my disposal from day one, from January 1st to just do whatever I want, pursue it and make it happen, make my dream come true. I'm always trying to find different ways that I can improve my content or just improve myself as a person. And so I can very confidently say that 2019 is going to be an amazing year, not just for my channel, but just for me as well. Speaking of my channel, before we wrap this video up, I want to give you guys a quick update on something that I mentioned, I think a few weeks ago in one of my videos, I am getting some graphics design work done by somebody right now. I was talking to somebody else at one point when I made those videos. However, he kind of bailed. We never necessarily agreed on him doing anything for me. However, I was messaging him, telling him what I want done after he had messaged me back asking me what I want done and he just never replied. I feel like the person is really busy because I was looking on his Twitter and at the moment I think he's in the process of moving out and stuff like that. So, you know, no hate to him or anything like that. I completely understand, you know, everybody's busy and stuff like that. However, I contacted somebody else. It is a FaZe member actually who is in FaZe for graphics design. I'm not going to exactly say who it is until the work is done. However, I'm in contact with him right now. He gave me his commission cost. I told him exactly what I want done and he's currently working working on a lot of graphics design work for my channel and there's probably going to be more after that as well. I'm getting a lot of things done. Like you're going to come to my channel and it's going to be completely different. Not necessarily my videos, but my videos will have higher quality graphics design work. My AVI, my profile picture, my banner is going to look amazing. I'm going to have an intro and outro. Like there are so many things right around the corner and I'm just going to give this guy a few weeks to really work on it. I'm I'm going to give him feedback on what I don't like, what I do like. I'm really going to make this work because I'm paying this guy quite a hefty sum of money. So I want to make sure that I get what I pay for. If there is something that I don't like, I am going to ask him to change it around because obviously I want to get my money's work. It's not like he's just going to give me trash and I have to accept it. Obviously, I'm going to work through it with him and it might take a week or two or three. I don't know how long these things take, but I'm going to give him his time because I want this done properly, especially for the amount that I'm paying him. And I can officially say that when I get this graphics design work done from this guy, I am ready to start a brand new channel, start from scratch and really just push my channel forward and do what I want to do. I want to be good at Call of Duty and so I want to continue with that. I want to be good at Call of Duty and have people know me because I am good at Call of Duty while at the same time splashing in some, you know, personality videos that I'm kind of known for with you guys. My overall channel isn't going to just steer in a completely different direction. However, you guys are going to realize that I'm going to be taking this a lot more seriously. Everything is going to be a lot more professional and I'm not getting graphics design work just for my channel. I'm also getting it for my live streams and shit. So whenever you watch my live streams you're gonna watch my streams and be like this guy takes his shit seriously and anybody who comes to my stream or to my channel for the first time will look at my channel or my stream and be like this guy takes his shit seriously all of that stuff is right around the corner and i'm gonna reveal so much of it so soon just really keep an eye out for my channel keep an eye out for my videos and i'll be updating you guys and letting you guys know of all the changes very very soon give it less than a month i would say but anyway guys that's pretty much everything i had to say for this video 2018 was a great year and i hope that 2019 is going to be better in fact no not i hope i know for a fact 2019 is going to be a fantastic fucking year and i hope you guys can join me alongside for the road. I hope your guys 2018 was great and if it wasn't do everything in your power to make sure that 2019 is better than 2018 regardless of if you had a great year or a bad year. Just work forward, improve yourself as a person, do something you love and just enjoy your life. 
that's the biggest thing I can stress to you. I'm not going to get preachy like I did in my Christmas video. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm going to wrap this video up here, and here's to 2019. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smack the like button. If you want to stay up to date on my content, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified when my videos go up. I'll have my last video in the corner. If you haven't checked that out already, definitely make sure to check it out. If you want to come and talk to me or just play some video games with me, check out the Discord at the top of the description, and you'll be able to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.